At Microsoft Research, our goal is to impact not only computer science and not only Microsoft as a company, but our goal is also to help solve some of the society's most challenging problems. 99 Dots is a great example of such a project where they have invented very simple but unusually effective technology to solve a global health problem. And we are making this technology openly available to the global health community. Tuberculosis, or TB, is a completely curable disease, yet every year more than a million people die of TB, more than any other infectious disease on Earth. One of the big challenges is that to make a full recovery from TB, you have to take daily medication for a full six-month treatment period. Many patients fall off the course of that medication and then either don't make a full recovery or develop drug resistance, which is much more challenging to treat. What many countries have done in response to this problem is to actually require patients to come to a treatment center over 40 times so that someone can physically watch them swallow medication. This is called directly observed therapy, or DOTS. What we're doing in this project is a much more patient-centered approach where patients can proceed independently but use mobile phones to retain a strong connection to their care provider. Our approach, which is called 99DOTS, works by wrapping each blister pack of medication with a custom paper envelope, which is sealed shut by the care provider. Every day, patients dispense drugs through perforated flaps on the back of the envelope, and they reveal a hidden phone number. They use their registered mobile phone, just a basic phone, not a smartphone, to place a toll-free call to that phone number. A computer answers the phone, says thank you, and hangs up. In this simple interaction, we can track the caller ID of the patient, along with the sequence of unpredictable numbers that they call over time to have high confidence that the pills are in their hand and likely taken. If a patient doesn't call in on a given day, we can send automated reminders to the patients and also automated alerts to care providers to ensure that they follow up with targeted counseling and get the patient back on treatment. We also have some sophisticated visualizations and analytics on an internet dashboard to help supervisors and program administrators track the progress of a program. We started this project as just a small research prototype at MSR a few years ago with a handful of patients. And since then, I've seen some rapid growth and a lot of excitement from our partners, such that today the government of India and other collaborators are actually using 99 dots to monitor adherence in every state of India. To support this rapid growth, we've started a new organization called Everwell, which is championing the successful deployment of 99 dots across India and other countries around the world. And we've started to see some very tangible impacts of the program for both patients and the treatment program. For example, here you can see a patient's reported adherence on our dashboard. And this patient started off very well taking daily medication as indicated by the green box. However, after a few weeks, you can see the patient started to miss a few doses as indicated by the red boxes. Our algorithm automatically flags this case as high priority for counseling, and the counselor can follow up with the patient, encourage them, and remind them about the importance of adherence, and in this case was able to bring the patient back for a full recovery. Similarly, we have aggregate data on hospitals and various treatment sites, measuring the performance of those sites. And occasionally you see instances like this where there's a gradual decrease in the metrics of reported adherence. Again, our algorithm flags this as a high priority site for our field partners, and they can follow up with some targeted outreach and further training. And in this case, again, you see an immediate uptick in the reported adherence of this site after the retraining. Now, all of this data was not, well, not previously available or digitized immediately, and even if it was, it took months or even years to aggregate, analyze, and respond to those problems. Now this data is available immediately to every policymaker and supervisor in the country, enabling fast and responsive healthcare for TB. It's a fantastic way ultimately for a simple solution for the patient, a powerful yet simple solution for the medical community to change lives, to save lives. To me, all digital transformation starts and stops right there.